So, I hope uh, my family is there. So, this is very open. Uh, speaker might allow one's uh, question. The two words are more prosperous and peaceful, people centered, fair, and non destructive de development. It is possible. And if so, how? Because uh, as we know, we have uh, the ASEAN motto, the people center, and, and our government trying to, 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 to promise that we are going to a more prosperous, more peaceful uh, ASEAN community. But that is from the government side, it's from our non state agency, how we see it. Is possible to do. It's about we have about five to seven minutes to speak some mind to share with the whole audience here, and then we maybe we can just reflect from uh, our friends, our colleagues here. Okay. So, Mr. Ban Fang, Sinadas from um, Green Community Alliance from Laos. So maybe instead of myself introduce each of you, we use it. If one minute introduce about you and also your organization, your work, and then your thought on this uh, question. So, who want to start first? I think I will give to uh, the lady. Huh? <laughs> towards supporting communities and uh, promoting the government's and private sector consideration on social and environmental uh, uh, practices. So, um, regarding the question to what a more prosperous and peaceful people-centered affairs and non-destructive development, is it possible? And I think the yes, I'm not getting away with saying just yes, but it's a how. Um, I think we can look at it from a more inclusive uh, uh, de development. It's a way to go. And in that regard, an African uh, proverb said, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I think it fits very well in this context. And this morning and early uh, t uh, this afternoon, we have heard a lot about examples about large-scale development that are disrupting the environment, over-exploiting the resources, affecting people, and you know, violating so many regulations that are uh, uh, laid out by the government. Is this the way to go? The question is not about are we saying no to this large-scale development, but it's how can we make sure that, that this development are uh, more responsible and more accountable. And we also heard about community-based efforts toward protecting the resources, developing the resource in a more equitable manner. Despite a lot of challenges, we have seen success as well. And I think it is one of the way to go without um, um, neglecting how large-scale development can benefit the countries and the, uh, the country economies as a whole. As long as it takes into account the social and environmental considerations and how the government manages the development projects and how the revenue from those development projects is going to be managed, making sure that the resource will be uh, kind of reinvest, taking into account intergenerational justice as well. And 
regarding the, I think there has been an example of community-based effort. What these, we've seen success, we've seen challenges. We have to keep in mind that there's a lot of, we, we have to take into account the times that needed to build the institution, to organize the community, to help build their capacity before they're strong enough to go by themselves. And at the same time, there's a need for coordination among us as a supporter of those community. There's a need of coordination among the government agencies, and there's a need of uh, support to make sure that the product they produce have the markets and they have a, play, a fair playing field with the private sector. And there's a need for continuous learnings from the practices to inform the government's policy, to learn from each other, and to improve the practice among each other. Mm -hmm. And in this, we see the important roles that the government uh, can play. The governments need to create an enabling environment for um, the community you know, to practice and to be protected on whatever they, they, they initiate to do themselves. And the government also, at the same time, needs to make sure that the private the investment is responsible and accountable by, by establishing regulatory frameworks and enforcing them. But we place a lot of expectation on the government, so what role are we playing? We can see that as a local uh, NGOs, we should continue to support the community, continue to learn and improve the practices to inform the, the government regulatory frameworks and guidelines. And we also see the role of development partners and donors in, in continue supporting the uh, initiative from the government based on the need that we identified, based on the learning that we collected so far, and based on the future direction that the government are playing to ensure that we, we have uh, allocated the resource to the, the right needs. And sitting in the, in the regional program, I see that it is important that the regional mechanism uh, will, will, will be supporting the process back home. However, it may take time, even though that we are working very hard toward that, it, it may take time to uh, a regional mechanism to have a positive impact uh, at, in the home country. So it is important that we start at home first and then the regional mechanism will come later. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Fan. So Sir Fan works with uh, an international organization and working in, with a regional program so that provide with uh, with some regional outlook at the for the question. But another uh, example, uh, another case that's been treating it that um, Myanmar uh, in the last few years become sort of the um, hero uh, in many uh, ways, transforming from a uh, military government to a democratic uh, government and receive a lot of international you know, attention. Donors coming there investor, companies, many people just want to go to Myanmar. So uh, from the outside, we see very, very uh, uh, exciting uh, atmosphere in uh, Myanmar. Because, uh, I think it's better to hear from inside. Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. Uh, I'm very glad to share my thinking to all of you and also let me tell you first I'm very glad to have a chance to attend and to meeting for a lot of people from different countries and um, this uh, the questions also as we said is uh, the yes but we have to be um, more coordinations and collaborations each other uh, not only inside of your country and outside of their country uh, and also their regional. Inside also very important 
whatever you want to do, whatever you like to do, you have to be a coordination is very important. Co cooperation is also very important. Even in the same way, you want that if you have a less coordination and less cooperation, you cannot succeed 100%. Uh, uh, even in the NGO each other or CSO each other or and with the contract with the government or something like that. This. this what only what I want to say is the coordination and cooperation is very important. <coughs> Second what I like to tell is the pessimistic. <coughs> Everything you have to be think about the good ways, not the bad ways. If you start at oh it's not a good you can't do like that, it won't be work. For me, is always think of good things of, and even how much you as a harder. If you cannot work one time, you can do second time and third time like that. If that kind of the things will be work. So that kind of the message I like to tell you for my life. Even how hard I, my life is not easy. Whatever I did, even in the presentation, sometimes that is the art. But I never forget it. Even in the United States, like that, you can you can believe it. But I am not exciting. I am not given my life. Okay, if you have a microphone, if you have an electricity, I will talk my voice. Okay, that's kinds of the things. Whatever, like uh, I'm working in an NGO or uh, working in an organization, is not easy. It's a it's very hard. But even how hard it is. We have to try to be schools and we have to try for our world or not only our region. So even in the one person work and, and then second break down on two, three, four and more, the whole world will be work. So if you've not started, it will be work that. So that's why these kinds of the things and we have to be more coordination and cooperation for these kinds of programs. In here, we have like examples, we have a, like a, only four organizations come in Myanmar. Uh, we have a lot of things that's not only is not the only uh, representative for the whole Myanmar. And Myanmar has announced a day a lot of a uh, lot of organizations, a lot of NGOs and a government changed the policies and a lot of things are run or uh, working. Even in this very hard time to the, the government's also changing their policy, changing and also we I, like myself, I have been retired 2000, but now the day is 2013, so I have to work again. Because of, we have to do a lot of things, changing a policy, changing the laws and something like that. We have a shortage of resource passage. That's why I like to help for the people and I like to the governments and NGOs and something like that. If they need me, I also I, I, I would like to help them. So that's kind of the thing Myanmar are studying now and changing a lot of things. So that is, that's why if uh, like the kinds of these uh, organizations invite me, I even I have not, uh, I'm, I'm busy in another workshop, but I just come to meet all the, all of the people to share my knowledge and do listen from other people to get, to get the knowledge there. So it's, that's things I like to say, it's more coordination, cooperations, and then never give up and always think about the pessimistic ways and hard one we will be, get this one. Why, why not we did we get this? So, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me wake up some of you. <laughs> Is it possible to be more prosperous and peaceful. Uh, this uh, uh, question reminded me about the motto of Asia. What is it? Guyan just reminds us we have one vision, one identity, and one community. This is the motto of Asia. So, uh, uh, and in order to answer this question, I just would like to highlight uh, one of the key challenges, one of the, 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 the Asian economic uh, uh, community framework, policy framework, and then what are the challenges and opportunities for us as Asian country. And then we will come up with the answer, why, uh, uh, is it possible, and how. So, uh, it's not uh, just uh, 
uh, remind uh, all of us about the uh, Asian community, Asian economic community framework, policy framework. The purpose is to create the uh, Asian economic uh, community is to ensure sustainable uh, development and economic growth. So through creating and promoting sustainable environment on agriculture especially. And one of the uh, uh, strategy is Asian cooperation. Uh, they, they create a, a co Asian cooperation on food, agriculture, and fishery to ensure the food security. This uh, will respond to the, the vision of uh, uh, prosperous, prosperity. And based on the blueprints, uh, 2015 Asian community, uh, Asian uh, would like to see all gender issue related will be addressed through engaging women. So this is the, the, the framework that uh, we are going to work together. So all of that uh, will uh, help to promote the economic, sustainable economic and uh, economic growth in Asia. Because remember we, we have uh, 10 countries at the moment, soon will be 11 and uh, more than 600 uh, million people, which is true. So uh, it's a potential for economic uh, investment. And what are the challenges uh, I wanted to highlight? The challenges in terms of preparing our, uh, our country, especially uh, the, those uh, who are affected uh, easily, vulnerable people uh, who easily will be affected by the development. So those challenges I would highlight in terms of road uh, infrastructures, it will cost uh, much uh, about the, it will affect to the uh, farming uh, crop cultivation because we need to, if the road uh, transportation cost is not uh, uh, being uh, addressed. Another challenge also highlight telecommunication network is limited because uh, it's quite far from uh, Center, while the central uh, is what the, the place where they distribute uh, goods and uh, products, uh, while the producer are at the uh, rural remote area, which is uh, not easily connected by a, a phone or media. So uh, this is a uh, need to be addressed. That uh, also another uh, thing, uh, market system is not in place at the moment because some countries are still still uh, on the assessment and some country is still uh, looking for innovation. So this need to be addressed. And uh, non-farm job opportunity are also uh, a challenge for us because like uh, because of the living standard and because of the uh, wage is uh, different. For example, Cambodia is uh, lower than Thailand uh, three times. So uh, some of the uh, farming, some of the farmers, especially the youths uh, who are full of labor skill uh, in terms of farming, they migrate to work for, for Thailand, so which is a uh, real effect to our country. Uh, again, so other country in among Asian also uh, will be affected if uh, the, the salary of wage is uh, lower than, uh, the, than uh, the neighbor countries. So this needs to be addressed. And limited access to uh, uh, agricultural products or tools that uh, need to be uh, ensure the quality of seed, for example, the tools uh, which are, will be used for agriculture. That uh, can be uh, a challenge for us uh, as a, in a, a poor country or a poor farming for poor farmers. And another so one capital, uh, limited capital uh, assess, uh, assessment, uh, assessing uh, also a challenge for, for the small land farmer holders. So uh, this is the, uh, the challenge that we need to address. Uh, but the, I also highlight the good opportunity that uh, from the integration of uh, the Asian econo uh, economic community, we also highlight some opportunity. For example, self mobilization among uh, the farmers, small land uh, holder farmers, should be an opportunity to, to, to organize themselves as a group so that we can have a, a strong voice in terms of uh, uh, strength, uh, in terms of uh, maintaining the price of the products. 
and technical knowledge on good agricultural practice uh, should be uh, an opportunity because uh, many uh, government have start uh, investing, start injecting the technical knowledge to uh, as to to ensure the modernization of agriculture and crop cultivation will be uh, implemented. So this is an opportunity for for some country and. Financial literature and management of uh, family cash flow should be an opportunity as well because at the moment, uh, many these uh, MFI and many creative agents start to uh, help them, set them, uh, build the capacity to the farmers to how to manage their, their, their financials uh, properly instead of uh, investing on the farm and in terms of uh, how to calculate the cash the margin and uh, how to manage the financial, uh, family financial planning. So this is an opportunity that I would like to highlight. So uh, next you will see uh, uh, how can we uh, uh, reduce those uh, challenges and, um, and maximize the, the opportunity so that we, we could uh, answer whether it is possible to be pros uh, more prosperous or in a peaceful or uh, non destruction uh, development. So at the question, the, uh, based on my uh, uh, analysis, I think that uh, by uh, addressing those uh, challenges and maximizing the identified opportunity, I think the positive thing will, will be happen to uh, other country, among Asian country. So uh, my answer would be yes, I don't know uh, whether you agree with me or not, follow my uh, analysis, but uh, I'm uh, like uh, my, uh, our, uh, our uh, uh, college mentioned earlier, we believe in positive things. That's why uh, NGO Forum uh, slogan, we uh, state that uh, working together uh, for making a positive change. That's why we, we, we are here and we are not uh, only not alone, we have many uh, uh, at the moment, we have five at least five countries, some are Asian country. So we are working together for positive change, for for positive change. So by working together, addressing those issues, the answer is yes. We, we will be more prosperous and peaceful. Yeah. That uh, and how uh, you already uh, see my my uh, the, the the way I'm talking you through. So the answer is yes. And how you will. Uh, uh, Take it for what? Yes, it's, it's up to you. Thank you. trên cơ sở tất cả những cái thảo luận uh, của quý vị uh, tức là cái phát biểu của chúng ta từ sáng thì chúng ta đã thấy rằng là chúng ta có, có rất là nhiều trọng tâm liên quan cái uh, vấn đề tức là như chị uh, ở Lào có nói về cái vấn đề uh, phát triển bao hàm chẳng hạn thì chúng ta đang làm công việc đó bởi vì là uh, kể cả cái vấn đề các cái dự án của chúng ta cũng nhằm vào những người nghèo những dân tộc thiểu số rồi ở uh, cái uh, khi, khi uh, gọi là cái uh, chính sách như uh, cái chị phát triển ở ở uh, uh, bộ nông nghiệp và phát triển nông thôn nói chúng ta cứ chuyển đổi chính sách sang cái nghị định 168 chẳng hạn thì cái đấy cũng là một trong những cái mà vì người nghèo tức là chúng ta đang làm tất cả những cái đó để chúng ta tiến tới một cái xã hội công bằng hơn uh, đặc biệt đối với những người mà đang có những tức là dễ bị tổn thương trong xã hội tức là những cái người mà người nghèo và những người dân tộc hoặc những người ở vùng nông thôn thì đấy là cái mà tôi cho rằng là uh, chúng ta đang làm tuy nhiên thì cái việc của chúng ta làm này nó phải tức là nó đòi hỏi phải thời gian rất nhiều và trong khi đó thì cũng đòi hỏi phải cái vai trò của những cái người lãnh đạo những người đứng đầu trong các cái hoạt động thì uh, thì uh, thì tôi nghĩ là như vậy 
Thế còn nếu mà xét về một cái mặt khác mà chúng ta còn nói tức là khi lấy con con người làm trung tâm thì chúng ta thí dụ chúng ta thay đổi chính sách chúng ta có những cái chương trình vì người nghèo thì cái đấy là chúng ta là vì con người tức là chúng ta mới là vì con người thôi còn bây giờ lại còn một cái phía cạnh khác của cái cái cái, cái câu mà lấy con người làm trung tâm thì chúng ta tôi cũng mong muốn là chúng ta phải chú ý đến một cái cái phía cạnh khác nữa đó là con người phải chủ động tức là chúng ta muốn tạo thêm năng lực tạo thêm một cái nguồn lực cho con người để con người có thể chủ động tham gia vào cái đó thì cũng như các anh chị đã nói từ sáng tức là trong tất cả những cái dự án của chúng ta làm thì chúng ta đều nhận ra những cái vấn đề uh, nó liên quan đến cái gọi là uh, cái 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 uh, yếu điểm của chúng ta tức là do chúng ta chưa chuẩn bị năng lực cho cộng đồng này rồi cho chúng ta chưa có được tức là cái đội ngũ lãnh đạo có rồi nhưng có thể là để tìm một cái người lãnh đạo nó có cái tính nghiêm trì hơn làm sao để có thể lãnh đạo dự án không phải là trong cái thời kỳ dự án mà trong có thể cả một cái quá trình lâu dài thì tất cả những cái đấy thì chúng ta cũng đã nói à, thì chính vì thế cho nên là chúng ta cái hướng đi mà nói thì để tiến tới một cái xã hội như thế này thì tôi nghĩ là chúng ta đang làm chỉ có điều đấy chúng ta sẽ phải làm một cái thời gian dài hơn và kiên trì hơn và ngay cả hôm nay ở đây thì như chị ở Myanmar cũng có nói hoặc như chị ở Lào có nói tức là chúng ta đang kết hợp tức là tất cả mọi người là phải có một cái sự liên kết một cái sự uh, uh, gắn kết với nhau kết nối với nhau thì uh, ở uh, tôi thì nghiên cứu nhiều về uh, tức là cái 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 tính tầm vĩ mô thì thí dụ như là uh, những cái chương trình của chúng ta ở đây thì chương trình ASEAN hay chương trình về hợp tác tiểu vùng sông Mekong mở rộng chẳng hạn thì chúng ta cũng đã có kết nối rất nhiều đặc biệt là kết nối cơ sở hạ tầng liên quan đến giao thông liên quan đến uh, uh, điện liên quan đến uh, viễn thông tất cả những cái đó thì chúng ta đang kết nối vào bây giờ chúng ta đang làm những cái chương trình liên quan đến kết nối về thể chế và cũng là kết nối về con người thì tất cả những cái đó tức là chúng ta đang đang tiến dần đến một cái xã hội mà mà như chủ đề uh, của cái, uh, cái chỗ chúng ta mong muốn thế và cái kết nối đấy thì ngoài cái kết nối đấy ra thì tôi nghĩ còn là còn một cái khía cạnh nữa của cái sự kết nối đó là cái liên kết mà như uh, hai uh, chị ở Myanmar và Lào có nhắc đến cho nên là tôi nghĩ rằng là như thế là chứ ít nhất là trong cái, uh, cái cái thảo luận này thì cũng có rất là nhiều những cái ý kiến mà chúng ta đã đồng quan điểm với nhau thì uh, tôi cho rằng là đấy là cái ý kiến của tôi mà tôi muốn uh, trả lời cái câu hỏi về, về, về cái chủ đề này với uh, uh, diễn đàn xin hết ạ xin cảm ơn Cảm ơn chị Nhung. So, you have the last one. Uh, from in, in, the, in the last two um, forums we organized, we have a uh, few uh, friends, colleagues from Lao. And this year, so we have quite uh, a large number from, of friends from Lao. So, it's um, glad that we have more, uh, more friends from your country here. But uh, in the last trip to Lao, I, I I heard from the um, from my friend there that now Lao has over 200 uh, non-profit association. And I was quite surprised because last some year ago when I went there, the number is very few, but now it's growing number of uh, civil societies, organizations. Uh, this also means that the, the government was opening up the uh, process for more uh, participation from the public. So maybe. Thank you very much, Mr. Tim. Um, ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues here, I'm Man Peng from Laos, from uh, local CSO. Um, let me share uh, my perspective, uh, but, but let's say not on behalf of the uh, Laos CSO, but let's say um, share my perspective one, and one of the uh, local CSO what uh, have been done and so far. Um, let, let's say um, um, uh, Laos is, is uh, quite strict uh, policy as well, but so far the government, our government also opened the opportunity for uh, Laos citizens to take action, to uh, share, to, uh, to uh, take action on uh, helping people as well. Um, CSO here in Laos not only uh, association or foundation, a group of institution, education sectors also working for people, sharing uh, uh, 
benefit for people also of civil society organization in this context. Um, let's, let me reflect to, to our friends here, uh, Laos and all countries here. Uh, this forum, uh, let's say, this is not only forum or platform, but this is kind of the, um, our home, civil society organization home. Uh, whoever here, what nations or gender here, uh, we have no border, never border. Uh, we are a network, uh, we are a partnership. I'm quite, I believe that strong network and strong partnership is key, important here. Um, yes, we are here to share our mission, our approaches, our technical, our informational data. But one thing here is we can learn each other. This afternoon, I, I learned how to um, have the Vietnamese food, at least. I, I learned how vision of the Cambodia friend sharing, uh, not only in this room, but in the coffee, uh, coffee bedroom or bedroom. We share all the times here. Uh, I quite believe that um, new generation of CSO or uh, senior generation is that we can we can uh, merge like network and partnership. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, who believe that we all country and we all say so here is network and partnership? Raise your hand. You 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 are partnership for CSO? Of course, huh? We are friend here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's all my perspective. Just short and brief. Time is quite limited. Thank you very much. <laughs>